All right, guys, here we go. We have the Elgato Capture Card. I'm just going to be showing you guys how to set it up real quickly. It's not difficult. It's very simple. Here you have the USB. You have the HDMI out. You have the HDMI in, and you have the AV in cable. If you have an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4, you do not need this one. This is not going to be of no use to you. This is just for those who have the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. So you don't have to worry too much about this one. What you're going to be doing in the HDMI in, HDMI in is going to be running from your Xbox One or PlayStation 4 into the HDMI in. Then the HDMI out is going to be running from your TV to this. And then the USB obviously is going to go from your computer or Mac laptop. So with that being said, guys, let me show you real quickly. Uh, right here, I have the 4K HDMI cable that the Xbox One does come with, guys. And um, like I said, HDMI in. Make sure that's in nice and good. And put that wherever you choose. And then you're just going to come. And then you're just going to come and you're going to plug it into this hole into this slot into your Xbox One, which is the HDMI in slot. Put that wrong, sorry about that guys. Boom, make sure that's in nice and tight as well, and there you go. Then you also need another HDMI cable, as I stated, because this is gonna be running from your TV into the capture card itself. Bang, HDMI out into the TV. Then, guys, all you need to do is the final step, which is plug the USB that comes with the Elgato into your computer or Mac laptop, and then plug it into the Elgato itself, which is real simple. Bang, and there you go. As you guys can see on the screen, now the screen's up and running. And there you go. That's it, guys. That's the basic tutorial on how to set it up. All right, guys. Now, assuming you have the capture card all set up, what you're going to want to do is go to www.gamecapture.com slash download. When you get there, you'll run across this screen. And basically, what you're going to do is if you got a Mac, you're going to click this button. And if you got a Windows, you're going to click this button. I have a Mac, so I click this button. And the download goes to here, the download section. That's the first one here. You let that download. <clears throat> and then this will pop up open as soon as it finishes downloading and basically what it's telling you <clears throat> is to go take this and drag it to your applications so you just go here man put it over the applications app wait till it opens up and boom you put it there and now basically what it's going to do is just going to install quickly okay awesome click it now guys and now you have it in your applications it opens up and then it'll just take it to the install wizard Game Capture ID is an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open? Yes. And here we go, guys. Agree. And boom. See, now basically streams everything that's going on on the Xbox. You see here in the bottom. It says how much gigs you got left. I got 81.7 gigabytes free on my Mac. It's running at 720p right now. Obviously, you can change that to 1080. You go here to this little button right here. Click it. <coughs> it's going to bring up this menu. You got to make sure that if you're using the Xbox One, obviously, and the input device, make sure it's Xbox One. Input HDMI, you know, and this here is what it, what do you want? 1080p, 720. Obviously, I'm going to go with the 1080p. That's basically how you set it up. Afterwards, just press OK. And there you go guys, we have the full 1080p capture card here.